anyway, like I was saying, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> First time, did two years for drug trafficking, right? Got out, started working at Smithfield. Start selling dope again. <sighs> and you know, I had to leave this. Like, I got set up, right? <clears throat> Boy, let me tell you, man. It was... Man. All right, so one time, right? So I'm working at Smithfield, right? Boom, I catch a DUI. You know what I'm saying? While I was working at Smithfield, it was some bullshit too. Boy, I got to tell you how I got this DUI. Uh, man, sh all right. So I was at uh, my homeboy barbecue, right? We drinking or whatever. I had a hotel room. I was going to go get this girl. Boom, go to, you know, send tickets to the hotel room. Blow, got them back out, whatever. So on the way, I'm leaving, right? I see two police on 24 have people pulled over on the other side. And uh, my hotel room was back that way, and I was going to get the girl this way. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to goddamn turn around, bust a U-turn, go drop this weed off at the room. Soon as I bust that U-turn, you know what I'm saying, right up under the bridge, the police left that dude that was right there Come and got me and said, hey, man, why you got them turn around that in my grassy median, in my fucking grassy median? And he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, how much you had to motherfucking drink, bitch? Because, <laughs> oh, I was wasted. I was a white boy wasted that day. So I took the motherfucking weed and I put it up underneath, you know what I'm saying, the emergency brake. You know what I'm saying? I could lift that shit up. Boom, took that weed down there. I go to jail. Got them two or three hours. Later, I'm out. Get to my car, the motherfucking window busted. Somebody stole my goddamn Jordan flip flops out the damn trunk. But the goddamn weed in my cell phone still there. My, the, the police ain't even find the goddamn weed, you know what I'm saying? And that's the whole reason I turn around. Anyway, anyway, stupid shit, man, stupid shit. So, goddamn, I had to ride with somebody at Smithfield, right? And so, like, when I, I start selling dope up there at Smithfield again, right? And so one of my boys that got out of prison, he worked at Smithfield too, right? He from Lumberton. I'm in Fayetteville, but we work at the same place. So boom, he was bringing me like a, he brought me like a half a pound up there. I put it in my boot, right? And the motherfuckers I'm riding with had seen that shit because we smoked, you know what I'm saying? And these motherfuckers tried to rob me that, well, they, you know what I'm saying? They, my locker got, I put like my locker got broke into that day, Right? But I had the weed in my, I had a goddamn half a half a pound of dope in my motherfucking boot the whole day at work. But my locker got broke into that day. Who the fuck you think broke into my locker? I know these motherfuckers try to goddamn get me. And we supposed to be so-called boys, like I'm riding with these motherfuckers to work. And then goddamn after that, I made them think that they stole the motherfucking weed. I said, I got back in the car today. I said, God damn, somebody got me, man, for a motherfucking half a brick. I said, God damn, a motherfucker got me for a half a bricks. Took my goddamn shit. Broke into my goddamn locker. Guess what? The next day, them bitches were fighting. The next day, them bitches were fighting. See, I put them against each other. See, I made them think that they stole the dope. So I, so I could find out who stole the dope. Because I knew they did it. I knew they tried to. I know they tried to. But that's what you got to worry about when you sell a goddamn dope. Motherfucker got them try to get you, man. Eric, you can't trust nobody in that shit. But these bitches are fighting the next day. So obviously, somebody, he told his homeboy, you know what I'm saying, boom, go, where is that? His homeboy went to go get it. Said, man, I ain't, it, it went on there. Then got them, I told him, <clears throat> oh, bitch, somebody got me. He was like, bitch, you lying. I told you about a lick. And bitch, you got it. And you gonna got them not break me off. And them bitches got them fighting the next day. <sighs> you gotta watch the company you motherfucking keep when you in that shit. That's why I don't fuck with that dope shit no more, boy. I don't give a fuck. I, I can go back to selling dope. Bitch, I don't care how much money, because you can't trust nobody. Motherfucker gonna set you up, little snitch ass bitches out here. Bitch, I got set up twice. <clears throat> I ain't fucking with y'all in that shit. This motherfucking dope game ain't, ain't the same, man. These motherfucking 
bitch ass motherfuckers out here. Got them set your ass up. Boy, the young boys will rob your ass too quick. Boy, these little got them kids, 16, 17, 15 years old. Oh, them bitches will rob your ass quick. They stupid. They don't know no better. They ain't thinking about you coming, you gonna come back and kill their whole family. You know what I'm saying? They they not thinking about that shit. They not thinking about they mom, they putting their mom and their daddy and their sister and shit because they cause they they young and they they don't they don't think you know what I'm saying. Anyway, like I said, I still got my when I was working at Smithfield, I called an assault charge. I was totally innocent of. So I went to got them jailed at uh, I went to prison uh court that day for an assault charge. Had this bullshit public defender. Who told me to take a plea deal? I was gonna get probation, and the, the judge <clears throat> was my old lawyer, David Hasty. He represented me on my old dope charges. And when I went to prison that last time for the drug trafficking, you know, what I'm saying I paid his homeboy like four bands. I owed him four bands. <clears throat> and then my daddy was like, I told my daddy go ahead and pay him. He was like, Well, you ain't got to pay him. You know, what I'm saying you already got your sentence. Da da da. I was like. The money in the bank just gonna pay whatever anyway so he i owed his homeboy money he became a david hasty became a judge he was a judge that day he was like well okay you're taking a plea uh you uh you take a you're gonna plead guilty you know what i'm saying <clears throat> get his probation i'm thinking i'm gonna get probation he was like well let's look at his record oh his record's horrible you're gonna get the mac you're going to prison today <laughs> They they said they they had me set up. They knew because I owed his homeboy money. You know what I'm saying? They I, they knew I was gonna go to prison. That, that public defender, Malin K. Don Gray, you a piece of shit public defender. You need to go back to. You should have never got a law degree. Cause I had a videotape that showed I was innocent. And that little bitch was scared to go to trial. He's like, I've never been to trial. This bitch asked me how to subpoena the tape. How do you do a subpoena? Bitch, you a lawyer? That's your fucking job. Fucking public defender, bitch. Yo, this motherfucker was fresh out of law school. Like, Malin K. Don Gray. You fucking piece of shit, public defender. You piece of shit, excuse for, poor, for, poor excuse for a fucking lawyer. This motherfucking Indian motherfucker. Anyway. Boy, them public defenders will fuck you. Fuck you. Anyway. So I went to prison for some shit that I ain't fucking do. Bullshit assault charge, right? That second time I went to prison, I came out, I had a plan. I was like, look, I ain't going back to selling this dope. Motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? You can't trust nobody. Matter of fact, matter of fact, one day I would go on a goddamn, let me tell you another time I went to Smithfield and goddamn uh, riding with the same dude, right? But goddamn, uh, boy, well, what happened? What happened? I think I had them drop me off at my baby mom's house. And I had some dope over there. And it, this the girl I used to talk to was trying to buy some goddamn weed. So she come to the project. She pull up. I go to the car. And the police pull up right behind her. So I jump in the car with her. And like, bitch, go. Go. Because I ain't supposed to be here. I ain't supposed to be in no projects. I'm on the trespassing list because I got... Caught selling dope back here a long time ago. So she pulled out. She driving all slow. Like she want them motherfuckers to pull her over. I, I put them up. She was like, they, so they, I said, bitch, they pulling us over. Goddamn, you stupid motherfucker. So I put the goddamn dope in my goddamn shoe. You know what I'm saying? And she like, David, just give it to him. David, just give it to him. She like, like she, I think she was in on it. I think she was in on it. Like, cause she don't never buy no goddamn dope from me. You know what I'm saying? We kind of fell out bad, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I think she was trying to set me up with the police. You know what I'm saying? And this is a bitch I used to talk to. <clears throat> and I know she used to talk to the police, you know what I'm saying? Because she used to always tell me about, uh, oh, what a Braden, Kimberly Braden. She loved got them Braden. <clears throat> it was like, oh, both of y'all are Asian. Duh, duh, duh. Anyway. <clears throat> They searched me. Uh, didn't find it. <clears throat> I was probably supposed to go back to prison that day. 
They I think they set me up. Anyway, I'm talking about bro. It's so many people that try to when you in the, you seen got them paid in full. You see how what they did to Mitch? You seen what Cameron did to Mitch? You see what they did to old boy? He shot old boy in the face. Mitch can't pay back the dope. Come on, you you seen them. Anyway, this real life, you know what I'm saying? They motherfucker will set you up. You can't trust nobody in this shit, man. You can't trust nobody in this shit. Anyway. That's why. Second time I went to prison, I got out, I went to school. I got my degree in applied science for automotive automotive mechanics. I did paint and collision repair at the same time. You know what I'm saying? I start working um, at McDonald's when I got out of prison the second time. Because when nobody else hired me. So I'm saying I did that just to a means to an end. You know what I'm saying? And see, McDonald's, they hire you and they they make you think like, oh, there's, you got such, a, you got a bright future here. It's, it's a corporation. You know what I'm saying? They try to act like you can become anything here. You know what I'm saying? You can become the, the mechanic here. You can be the maintenance man here. Uh, you can get your college degree. Da, 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 da. <sighs> Let me tell you why I quit working at McDonald's. Number one, I told them I had a test for college the next day so I couldn't come into work. And they were like, Dave, you already got two strikes or whatever. Or like, if you don't come to work today, don't even worry about coming back tomorrow. Bitch, bye. Bye, motherfucker. Fuck you and them goddamn burgers. Fuck you and them fries. You know what I'm saying? I won't go be here anyway. Bitch, I ain't working at McDonald's my whole life. This ain't no career. You think I'm going to do this for the rest of my life? Bitch, you smoking dope. Fuck out of here. Kiss. <clears throat> Kiss. Bye. Bye. That's what I said to that shit. Bitch, I'm a goddamn <clears throat> not going to work. I'm going to study for this test. And I graduated with a 4.0 GPA. Honors. You know what I'm saying? Top of my fucking class. Because <clears throat> I had to make a decision that day. Did I want to keep my job at McDonald's? Or did I want to take this test? What was more important? Studying for this test for my fucking career. Which I go on to make <clears throat> a shit ton of money in. Which I do now to support my family and my, you know what I'm saying, and pay my bills now. Or am I going to worry about having a job tomorrow? You know what I'm saying? The choice is very easy for me. You know what I mean? So, I mean, when I got out, <clears throat> when I graduated, you know what I'm saying, boom, five years later, there were still people working at McDonald's. And I seen them all, all got them crying on Facebook every day about the shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, I'm so fucking glad I got away from that shit. I'm so fucking glad I didn't go to work that day. And I studied for my test. And I got an A the fucking next day. <clears throat> McDonald's, man. It, it was, it's funny to me. I had some, another reason why I got had to get away from McDonald's, man, was cause I was there for six months. I'm fresh out of prison. Let me tell you what happened when I come into work. Everybody, oh, David's here. David's here. That's all you hear. Is David, David, I need a box of goddamn uh, case of meat. David, I need this. David, I need that. David, 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 David. Motherfucker, leave me the fuck alone. God damn. Do you, can you do some fucking work? Y'all motherfuckers got two hands? But as soon as I come in, everybody, oh my God, thank the Lord David's here. Thank the fucking Lord David's here. Because David going to do all the work. David's a good fucking worker. I've been there busting my ass, man. Everybody got them laying around sitting on the, on their cell. You ain't supposed to have no cell phone. Motherfucker, break out the cell phone. Goddamn, David's here. Bitch, I'm about to goddamn... Uh, I'm about to lean up on them motherfucking wall. Act like I'm goddamn work. I ain't gonna do shit. I'm gonna sit here and goddamn talk. Thank the Lord David's here. Cause I, mean, I was in there goddamn... I was, I was the best worker in there. And six months later, they then you get your you get your review for your raise. You get up to a, a whole quarter for a raise. You get a whole quarter for a raise. Every six months, 
That's how you get ahead at McDonald's. Man, they just came up for my review. Talking about 10 cent. I was like, bitch, fuck you. And this goddamn job. I'm about to quit right then. And see, the reason I ain't getting no raise because I ain't had no motherfucking pussy. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the lady that worked there that gave me my review, you know, she was gay. The manager was gay. And she was dyking, turning turn all the women out. And all the goddamn girls got a raise, a full quarter raise. You know what I'm saying? But me, I ain't had no motherfucking pussy, so I can't get no full quarter. I only get 10 cents. So, I, but I was the hard, I, I swear, I was the best worker up there. I swear to God, like, I do more work than anybody in that motherfucker. And goddamn, I had a falling out with a manager too, like, uh, I got on bad terms with one of the managers because we were cool. She used to let me take home food every night and everything, you know? But uh, one time this motherfucking bum was, you know, the crackheads be up there begging for money. And he had one arm. And he, she kept on David, come outside, get that bum out of here. And she went out there, David, come in. We went out there. And, and, and she, like, wanted me to fight the motherfucking crackhead. And the bitch got one arm. He got a cast. He got one fucking arm. And she want me to fight the crackhead. He up there got them cussing out, you stupid bitch, spitting all in the face. And I'm, I ain't gonna touch him. That motherfucker ain't got shit. Give that motherfucker a sandwich. Give him some fries and let him tell him to get the fuck home. Or else he gonna keep got that. I would have handled it different. I'd be like, bruh, you want something to eat? If I was the manager, I'd be like, you want you, you want something to eat? So I'm, I'm, I'll give you something to eat if you promise not to come back. Instead of goddamn keep on running out here, stressing about it, you know what I'm saying, calling the police, <clears throat> trying to get your employees to fight the fucking crackheads, like, I would have handled it different, you know what I'm saying, I would have gave him brother something to eat, because he just out there trying to get some money, you know what I'm saying, to get something to eat, maybe get some dope, I don't know, but I'd made, I'd made a deal with him, I'd been like, I'll give you some fucking food if you promise not to come back, that's how I would have done it, but instead... You gonna call me over here, cause I'm all the muscle. I was 250 pounds out of prison. Got them all muscle. I'm huge. You know what I'm saying? I'm fucking huge. I'm, I'm like 220 right now. 230, something like 225. I ain't as big as I used to be. Trying to get me to fight this motherfucker. Bitch, I just got out of prison for an assault. You think I'm trying to go back? <sighs> over fucking McDonald's? Over this fucking job? Well, y'all won't give me nothing but a 10 cent motherfucking raise. Fuck McDonald's. <clears throat> Bitch, I'm, a, I'm, let me, I'm about to go get me a food truck and start making, and start my own burger business. And I'm going to set that bitch up right behind McDonald's. Matter of fact, right here, I stay right down the street from the mall. There's a McDonald's right here on Skybo Road. Right across the street from Burger King. And it went behind it. Planet Fitness is behind it. And uh, Gander Mountain and Lytles and shit. I'm going to set my food truck up. Right behind that fucking McDonald's right there. And I'm going to start selling burgers right behind that bitch. And I'm going to take all your motherfucking business. <sighs> start my own job. That's And then see, I, be, I made this other video about this. Why the economy's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Why we old. We motherfucker be talking about goddamn. We, we used to be the greatest goddamn country. The richest. Bitch, we owe a trillion dollars to China. Motherfucker, we about to be start speaking Chinese. And we're going to be goddamn communists over here. The Chinese are going to take over. You see what they did to Africa? They taking over Africa. Bitch, we about, to start, start, we about to be speaking Chinese in a couple years. Watch. Because we can't pay these motherfuckers back. Because we all out here, we got so many people working. So many employees and not enough jobs. Because all the CEO corporate motherfuckers sent the jobs to China. And Vietnamese, Vietnam, and Taiwan, and Hong Kong. And goddamn South America and everywhere but here. Meanwhile, we the, we 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 sixty five percent of the consumers of the world, ten percent of the population. Uh, they send all our jobs overseas. These are the motherfuckers that you voted for, these Republicans. <clears throat> anyway, because they the ones they don't they the ones that own the companies. They homeboys and shit. Anyways, the problem is we got too many people, too many uneducated people, and not enough jobs. You know what I'm saying? And we keep getting more 
immigrants from the UK, Mexico, whatever, keep making babies. Now they want to ban abortion, increase the population. You keep getting more employees. There's no more jobs. The jobs ain't, you ain't getting no more jobs, but the, it, but we get more employees, more workers though. You need to stop that shit. Start your own business. If you work at McDonald's, get you somebody that worked there with you. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Or goddamn, just goddamn take out a loan for a food truck. You know what I'm saying? Or, or, or you know what I'm saying? If you got, or this is how you do it. You can start your own business, your own LLC. It don't take that much money. Or you can just start your own business, get a business license. You know what I'm saying? Or get a business name. Whenever you do your taxes, you know what I'm saying? If you need help with that, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to charge you $300, $500 to do it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <clears throat> boom, do a tax return with your business on it. You know what you do. Show that to the bank. They'll give you a loan for whatever you want. I promise you. You can have bad credit. And that's how you get credit when you don't have credit. If you got bad fucked up credit, all you do is start, your, start a business. You know what I'm saying? Do a tax, do a tax return <clears throat> that has the business on there. Even if you don't whatever even if you don't have no income you can just show that you got expenses you know what I'm saying you have a business loss just show them that you buying stuff for your business your expenses you know and you can have you can claim claim a loss you know what I mean but as long as it shows what kind of business that you do show that to the bank boom they we just starting up we need a loan get this food truck or whatever supplies you need and they'll give you the loan they'll give you credit you'll start getting credit cards in the mail too you'll start getting credit credit card offers from People that you ain't even want credit from. But it'll be for your business, but not for you, but for your business though. You know what I'm saying? Even if you got fucked up credit. Anyway, whatever you're doing, you work at McDonald's, you know what I'm saying? Like I worked at Jackson Hewitt. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they I was like, Jackson Hewitt, I'm gonna sit here doing taxes. You got uh, two W-2s and three kids, and they charge you three, four hundred dollars to do your taxes. And I ain't do no tax fraud. I ain't do nothing extra. All I did was put your information in. I didn't get you no big refund. I mean, you got a refund based on your, 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 your W twos and your children. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't do nothing special. Bitch, I do this shit for sixty dollars. I do this shit for a hundred dollars. Come see me. You know. So anyway, they they caught me doing people taxes up there. Jackson Hewitt on the side, so they had to let me go because we had a conflict of interest or whatever. Um. Cause I ain't about to sit here and work for nobody and make them rich. Cause I'm the best employee up there. Cause you know what I'm saying? And you're going to get rich off of me. And I know how much you charge. I know what you're making. I'm sitting here telling these people three, four, five hundred dollars. And they be like, all right, do it. Then they get the little quick loan. Not knowing the interest rate is like goddamn 30 fucking percent. <clears throat> Boy, they be killing y'all at these tax places, man. Killing y'all. Anyway, I was like, man, I'll do this shit for sixty dollars for a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? The same shit they charging three, four, five hundred. You know what I'm saying? I do it for a hundred. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't I, that ain't me doing nothing extra. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? Doing some tax fraud shit or whatever, getting you some extra money. Cause you know what I'm saying? If Jackson Hewitt and them, they not gonna do all the extra shit. You know what I mean? Anyway, so same thing. I worked at the dealership. You know, they, they charging $140 an hour. They paying me $20 an hour. You think I'm going to sit here and let you make $140 an hour and pay me $20 out of that shit and you keep $120? Same thing with McDonald's, man. You think you're going to pay me goddamn $7 an hour, $8 an hour, give me a 10 fucking cent raise, and I won't go up here, go I won't go out here and start my own fucking food truck? Bitch, these motherfuckers making millions on the on the, you got them food truck. They must hey, <clears throat> ask somebody that got a food truck. Ask them, they, I bet you they make a couple thousand a day, a couple racks a day. Bitch, it take you a whole goddamn month to make a rack at McDonald's. You make that shit at one day with your own goddamn food truck. <clears throat> so, yeah. Fuck McDonald's. Yeah. And fuck all these other businesses too. Wherever you work at, man, I don't care what you do. If you work at Starbucks, if you work at Krispy Kremes, you know what I'm saying? You could goddamn start your own goddamn coffee company. 
Bitch, if you work at Taco Bell, you know how to make a motherfucking taco. Start your own goddamn taco truck. Bitch, I love tacos. I will come and buy tacos from you every day for lunch. Goddamn, I'll support your business. Shit. You need some mechanic work, you call me. You need your taxes done, you call me. Man, whatever you do. Man, if you work at goddamn Fantastic Sam's, you know, say you cut hair. Or you work at, uh, what is it? This this pet uh, pet care or some shit. Pet code, pet care, pet smart. And you groom dogs. Bitch, you can start your own goddamn grooming service. And you work at any kind of food place. You can start your own food place. Whatever you do, man, whatever whatever you do, man, and you working for a company, you know how to do the job. They pay you to do the job. They trained you to do it. You know how to do it. You take that training, and you do it for yourself now. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I do. You know what I'm saying? I take the training that I got. Start my own business now. You know what I'm saying? They used you for profits to make them rich. Use your hard labor. Now use the training that they gave you to make yourself rich. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> that's why everybody's starting all these goddamn businesses nowadays. Everybody got a damn business. Because you can't live a fucking decent living off the bullshit that they paying you. You can't live like this. Bitch, you got to take out a loan. You got to get a credit card. You can't pay goddamn a car payment, a house payment, motherfucking insurance on all that shit. Bitch, I'm going to be riding dirty with no insurance. Goddamn. You think I can't afford this shit? Bitch, you going to take out loans and shit. I mean, even if you do got a motherfucking college education, man, shit, I was making goddamn 10 $20 when I started out at the dealership with a college degree. I can't live on that shit. Stop working for these companies, man. Stop. See, see, that's why they can pay you nothing. Because there's so many people out here. You got su such a big supply and a very small demand. The demand is jobs. The demand is the occupation. The demand is the work. You got this much work, but you got so many goddamn workers that are willing to work for nothing. Because it ain't that many jobs. They're desperate. So you can't add to the job, the worker pool. You have to take yourself out of that. Like I did. You know what I'm saying? And start your own business. And that's why everybody else is doing it. Everybody's starting a business. You could be a nail technician. You could do nails at the house. Massages. Babysitter. Landscaper. You can cut grass. Anybody can fucking cut grass. Bitch, I know plenty of people got out of prison and started their own goddamn landscaping business. And they making six fucking figures right now. Six fucking figures cutting grass. And they don't even cut grass no more. They got Mexicans doing it for them. <clears throat> Bitch, you can do this shit too. Just like I did it. Bitch, I've been to prison twice. I've been to prison twice. I, I got so many felony. Bitch, I'm, I'm a habitual goddamn felon. And I'm making more goddamn money than I ever made in my fucking life. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't even got to work hard. I don't even work every day. Bitch, I might work for two hours, three hours a day. If that, if that. And I make more money than I ever made working for anybody else, man. <sighs> Take yourself out of the equation, man. Whatever you do for a company, you can do that shit on your own. You know what I'm saying? You could take that skill and start your own business. And that way you're not adding to this big supply of workers. You know what I'm saying? Start your own business, man. Because ain't no, you ain't never going to get rich working for somebody else. I promise you that. The CEO will get rich off of your fucking hard work. That's who's going to get rich. And they're not going to do no damn work. They're going to let you do all the work. But you can do the same thing, just like the cleaning businesses, man. Like when I worked at the Chevy dealership, an uh, old dude that used to uh, clean, the, clean the Chevy dealership, he had a contract for like $5,000, $4,000, $5,000 a month, right? I got my, uh, my the girl I was dating, I got her a job up there cleaning for him. She would make like $10 an hour. 
So he getting like at least a thousand a week. Paying her goddamn ten dollars an hour. She worked like maybe three, four hours a day, max. So she made like maybe what thirty dollars a day. You know what I'm saying? Little, about a hundred dollars a week, maybe. And he ain't do no damn work. He used to come up there drunk every day. He used to goddamn be come up there drunk as hell. Oh, what's old boy uh Rob with a Rob Rob, I think. Come up there drunk ass up there, goddamn smelling like goddamn liquor. Hold, using the broom to hold his goddamn drunk ass up. Up there drunk. Ain't doing motherfucking liquor work. Had everybody else working for him. You know what I'm saying? He getting a thousand a week. He might pay them three hundred, four, five hundred. He putting five hundred in his pocket for doing nothing. But you can do that shit too, though. Start your own business. You know? I'm telling you, everybody doing that shit. That's, that's the only way you don't get ahead. That's the only, the only way you don't get ahead. Because you ain't, ain't nobody ever going to pay you what you worth. They're not giving out raises out here. There's too many people out here. They're going to send your job to China. You want to raise? You want to raise? Matter of fact, don't even come to work tomorrow. We gonna send your job to the China. To China. The Chinese gonna do your work. The Vietnamese, the South Americans, the Mexicans, they gonna get your job tomorrow. That's how how they feel about you. Fuck these goddamn companies. Fuck McDonald's. Fuck all of them, man. Start your own business, man. Stop making them rich.